11 year old Xavier Harrelson went missing from Powashi County two months ago. Investigators say they are open to any possibility at this point. A local 5's Lake and McGee continues to follow this case. She spoke one on one with the Division of Criminal Investigation and joins us in the studio. Guys, I asked Iowa DCI if they believe Xavier is still alive. Their response? Well, they don't want to jump to any conclusions. Here at the Division of Criminal Investigation, Mitch Morvet, the assistant director, agreed to sit down one on one with me to discuss the disappearance of Xavier Harrelson. Is this family still cooperating with investigators? They are. They are. In the United States, an estimated 460,000 children are reported missing every year. The vast majority of them are runaway situations and are often returned or come back home within just a matter of, you know, a few hours, usually within the same day. But we don't think Xavier is a runaway. A at this point, I would say no. Again, we're open to any and all possibilities. And but but being gone this long, um, probably not. For you working on a case like this, what's what's this like? It's, it's frustrating that we haven't been able to find him. And and it, it honestly, it's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for the family, for friends, for these small communities, because everybody knew him just like, you know, they did in Brooklyn with with Molly Tibbetts. Now, there has been a lot of talk about similarities between Xavier's case and Molly's. At a recent court hearing for Christian Bahena Rivera, his attorney said two inmates came forward saying someone else confessed to killing Molly. The attorneys argued this fits into a 2019 sex trafficking investigation and possibly the disappearance of Xavier. Now, a judge recently ruled that claim to be fishing expedition, and DCI believes that argument is a stretch. So you don't think there is any connection with Bahena Rivera, Molly Tibbetts, and Xavier Harrelson, other than the fact they're from the same county? Yeah, that's the only thing that, that we've come up with at this point. You know, we have nothing to indicate at this time that there was anything to do with human trafficking as a result in, in Xavier's disappearance. Now the DCI does have information they could not tell me, but they did say that this is not a cold case, even though the amount of tips they're getting has slowed down. They're of course working hard, we know that, but also community members haven't stopped looking uh, for Xavier and doing whatever they can to help bring him home. Yeah, Stephanie, that's right. So we have talked with an Indianola woman that is putting on a vigil this weekend to light the way home for Xavier. We, we call it bringing him home, lighting the way, um, just to kind of help his friends and family uh, let them know that we haven't forgotten Xavier, that we're still here and we're still looking for him every day. That vigil is Sunday at three at the Montezuma High School football field. All right, Lakin, thank you so much. Now, if you at home think you may have any information that you can share, you're being asked to call the Powersheet County Sheriff's Department. The number is on your screen.